Hi viewers. Today I am going to show you how to bind the data in the drop down using the data table. Data table, uh, you know already, uh, it act like a table. We can so store some data in temporarily in the server. We use uh, most of the case data table data sets. In previous sessions, I showed you how to create the data table, how to insert the data table, how to update and delete the data table. Today, I am going to show you uh, how to bind some data in the data table to the dropdown. So, what I am going to do is, I have the set of uh, things like uh, created uh, already the data table. With that data table, I insert some three names, three columns. So uh, these things at all I discussed in previous sessions. You go through our old video, you can easily understand. So now what I am going to do, after I insert the data, I just want to bind into the dropdown. So the thing, I am going to add one dropdown list here. I am giving some list to DDL bind something uh, run that server to run in the server okay now we have the set of things i just going to build the empty now we have dropped out with no data so what i going to do is i just want to bind some records already present in the data table into the dropdown so how i going to do this one is uh, actually uh, i'm getting the dropdown here i'm going to bind the data source dt so now we have the data source here now uh, i want to choose the text field and the value field for the dropdown so what I am going to do is, I am just going to do like data, text field, I want a text field new path. So if this is under the column name, name. So I am giving column name here, name. Value field, I must set. Sorry. Data value field equal to ID. Finally, I just want to bind the data. No. Okay. Okay, uh, this method I am called in already in a postback, so I just keep this remain same. Postback event happen once the event handler uh, not is postback, it means it's a kind of page load. So, what I am going to do is again I am going to build the application and run the application. Now, see, we have the set of data in the table name we bind it here see these are all the names here and a value of the drop down also bind out if you want to see the value uh, we have inspect the element can do the inspect the element and you can see these things I just want to explain in brief way so that uh, here see for the new path the value one two three is binded in the way so we can uh, retrieve this data in here also by using the label how we can do that there is a one more method Okay, fine. Before that, I just want to add on label here to display the values which I selected in the drop down.
here i'm giving lbl message or something so that i can easily retrieve the data here fine what i am going to do is i want to do the auto post that the drop down when it's uh, selected i'm doing auto post that and what i am going to do is i want to fire one more event selected interchange this means like um, once you selected the drop down where uh, it will uh, do some set of action that we are handling in the select index okay here we go into the settings and select the drop down you get some uh, symbol uh, in the name of events go on do the select index change it will automatically uh, create one method here what i am going to do is i am going to do label message dot text equal to ddl dot selected value okay now it's going to bind whatever i selected in the drop down okay again i'm going to run the application see suppose if i select a new path to it's binding the value to if i'm selected three it's binding the value three it's selected one because we already have the value field id so it's matched id it's displaying thanks for watching the video if you have any doubts please share us in the comment i will improve my session more than what you are expecting thanks for watching the video